Hi guys, Todd here. On a really hot day, um, when I should be doing my garden, I'm in here cracking this review out. Um, now, this review is for the H Atty Genesis Atomizer. This has been around uh, for a while now. It's, it's not a brand new Genesis Atomizer, but it's gone through several revisions and uh, Liberty Flights have now picked this up and are going to be selling it in the UK. Well, they are actually already selling it, but there'll be an official launch date round about when this review goes out. Uh, the guys got in contact and asked me would I like to review it. I said yes, and they said which one would you like because there are three editions. Now, the, the various editions, it all comes down to the top cap, essentially, and I'll cover this in more detail as we go along. Now, uh, I have press release info here, which is awesome, uh, because it gives me so much information. Um, it's going to be on the Liberty Flights website for £117.99. Now you have an H Atty, an H Atty loose draw, and an H Atty dual coil. Uh, I'll go through the various details as we progress. Uh, I have the H Atty loose draw, uh, which is a reduced chamber with three 0.8 millimeter air holes. The H Atty, the standard one, has two 0.8 millimeter air holes, and the H Atty dual coil has a reduced chamber with Two times, two times one mil or one mil stack air holes. So it's got two one mil air holes on either side in front of a coil. Um, this is it. It's, it's currently sitting on my uh, black Stingray X and uh, Stingray drip tip, and I have to say it looks bloody gorgeous. This is in hybrid mode, and I've been using this for about a week and a half, two weeks now. Vape. Even with, this is the loose draw, it's not what I would con... How am I going to put this? It's loose, but it's just verging on the direct lung inhale, you know, just, it's at a point where it's just about okay to do a direct lung inhale, but not quite, it's, so it's, it's not tight, but it's not what I would call, personally, what I would consider really loose. Um, what we'll do is, well you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, what will I say here, let's change the camera angle and we'll go down for a closer look. Let's go something like that. Let's go for it. Here's my little collection of parts. Uh, this is my HATI. I should point out, it came out in this uh, little garage of creation box here. Uh, so it's nicely presented. And in the box uh, you will find replacement o-rings plunger, you know, so you can block off the spare hole, so you've got plenty of spare parts in there, which is a good thing. Now, I'll, I'll put all this together, but uh, first off, this is 316 stainless steel, okay? It's 22 millimeters. When assembled, it is 43 millimeters, and it's got this kind of like brushed matte finish going on. Uh, now, the first thing I'll point out here is when you look at the actual deck, you hopefully you'll see there that the the wick holes are actually two different sizes. You've got a 2.5mm wick hole and a 3mm wick hole. So you can run whatever build you want. And you saw that little black plunger in the spares pack, so you can plug up the other hole for, if you want for whichever one you're not using. Now it is uh, a Pyrex tank here, and this you've got about a 3mm capacity, but just under 3mm capacity. Uh, but it does go through the juice at some rate of knots, this thing. Well, obviously depending on your build. Uh, so we have the, the base here, and here's our post with our, our live terminal here, live post. And you can see in the bottom here we've got a set of O-rings, and this is the tank sits on this. But first off, we have to screw this in here like so. And you can see that that's got a, an O-ring on the base which seals off the bottom. So we'll just screw that on. 
sure that's nipped up nice and tight. Um, on the top cap here we have another o-ring inside here and the tank just sits in there like so. Now I have to be honest here I did find that the tanks kind of you know when I screw this down I'll screw this down like so. Now if I nip that up tight, I did find that it, it's kind of sitting at an angle. It's not an even... I don't know if that'll show up here. I actually tell a lie, this seems to be sitting straight this time. The last couple of times I've taken this to bits, uh, I, I, I have had a couple of issues, I'm just putting the insulator back in there, where the tank hasn't sat completely flush on the o-rings, I've had trouble getting the tank to sit in the o-rings, and that's resulted in me getting air coming into the tank, but this time it seems to be sitting okay. So my advice is when you're putting it together, make sure your o-rings are secure in place inside, and that the, the tank is sitting directly on top of them. If it's not sitting straight, back it off, move the o-rings about and tighten it up again just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, we do have this little brass nut here and I'm just going to screw that on here. You can use that as a, an adjuster for your 510 connection. It doesn't help me, you've got big fat fingers. I've just tightened that right down. 5 with threadings, I have not had any issues with it at all. It uh, seems to thread onto everything as expected. So there's our deck and we'll just put this together. So we've got one of these little nuts and I'm just going to pop that down. And I've just been doing it up by finger. I've not felt the need to actually take a pair of pliers to it and nip it up. It's, it's been okay like that. We then have these two washers set on there like so. And I'm now going to screw that down. I tend to keep the threaded knurled bit at the top. It just makes it easier to grab a hold of on this occasion. So you're going to put your wick in. Uh, coil it, you've got your two earths here and this is your life terminal here and you'll just trap your wire in between those two little guys there. Now once again this is the H Atty loose draw so we've got three 0 0.8 millimeter air holes here okay uh, the overall height of this Atty is 43 millimeter and that's the same with the standard H Atty the H Atty dual coil is 48 millimeters in height and it actually takes 4 mils of juice instead of the 3 mils. The H Atty dual coil, instead of having like the, the 2.5 and 3 mil uh, setup that you've got here with wick holes, will have two 3 mil wick holes. And once again, whilst I get my head around this, we're going to have two 1 mil air holes on either side for the H Atty dual coil tank. But as this is a loose draw, you know, I've just got them on one side. You can see it's got quite a heavily reduced chamber sitting in there, which uh, lends itself to, well, in my personal experience, I believe it gives a more intense vape with a reduced chamber. And yeah, 316 stainless steel, it's, it's well made. Now I've been using, uh, uh, this is a Actually, this is a 2mm uh, piece of uh, stainless steel mesh rope with a, a little uh, piece of mesh, uh, stainless steel mesh wrapped around the top and my coil. Um, it's pretty easy to build this thing. I, I've not had any major issues with it at all. You know, in, in the grand scheme of the uh, Genesis atomizers for, you know, those people that are, are used to them, I mean probably fall asleep at this point uh, but you're just wrapping the wire underneath the negative terminal and tighten it off 
I didn't find this especially hard to set up in any shape or form. Uh, quite an easy atty to set up actually. Um, break that off there. And then just going to you know, wrap it around here. I'm actually using 0.3mm cantho here. So I'm just winding it round. I'm not going to any not doing anything exciting. I haven't given this coil a fancy name or anything like that. Uh, but I'm just giving four turns round there. Yeah, I'm just looking for a hopefully about a, a, a one ohm coil. Um so that's me, I've taken it in between the, the washers there, no problem. And then just tighten this down. that off there, snip the wire, and I'll take my little screwdriver and I'm just going to, you know, the usual drill, yeah, you guys are used to this by now, I just space my coils out, I'm just going to give this, uh, see where the wire comes off the earth there, just give that a little push in close, to the coil, help reduce the hot spot if one appears, and that should be me. So we'll, we'll fire this on a mod and see how we get on hot spots. And that was a pure fluke. But that seems pretty healthy just off from the start. I've got a few, couple of hot spots there that I'll be able to just, you know, as is the norm, just start pushing it about. That's getting there, that's a couple more minutes with this and it'll be fine. Right, let's get some juice in here. Uh, well, I'll work out these hot spots and then we'll pop some juice in. Uh, for this, I'm going to fire in some uh, Jungle Funk, Baloo's Wet Dream. Um, and, you know, having that th having that 3 mil wick hole uh, exposed, it means I can just pour the juice straight in there from the bottle. Pop some in the wick. Good to go. Pop the top cap on. Make sure it's lined up with uh, the wick. Now, just noticing here, I think I haven't put this down far enough. Make sure that uh, your wick is not any higher than the top of the centre post here, or it will end up shorting off the top of the cap inside. So that's me back together again uh, with the H Atty. Now, let's have a vape. honest here. The flavour out of this thing is just sublime. It's brilliant. Um, I, I cannot, uh, you know, if you wanted to, I do do reviews. I was going to say if you want to do reviews you would scale it such and such, but uh, there is nothing I can say about the flavour production. It's perfect. It's just perfect. Um, Uh, 
with this juice, uh, which is, I'm not sure what the uh, Jungle Funk is. Uh, I think it's a 50 50. I could be wrong in that. Sure, Smokey will correct me. Um, it goes and goes. I know it's all dependent on you know the resistance of the coil and, and so on, how fast you go through the juice, but this just seems to go through juice at a rate of knots. Uh, or maybe I'm just vaping more with it. I think that's what it is because uh, I really do enjoy it and I think it's, it's a beautiful looking device. I mean the hidden o-ring affair, yeah there's all that stuff going on about that. Uh, it looks like this, it looks like that. Um, it's a Genesis Atomizer. Uh, it's a bloody good Genesis Atomizer. Uh, I'm... Let's see if I can do a direct lung in here. Yeah, no, it, it's not, even in a loose, this is a loose draw, it's not a direct lung inhale device, it's, uh, it's, uh, this is for your flavour hounds, you know, this is for the guys that want the flavour, uh, would I recommend it? Uh, do you know there's so many Genesis atomizers out there, uh, that I don't, my only, is it criticism? A criticism of this is the the way the tank is kind of like tanks in the middle and it's held by two o-rings pressure, you know, the pressure of the two o-rings on it holding it in place. I did find that, you know, you have to be spot on when tightening it up that the tank sits perfectly in place. Look at the top cap and make sure that it's not like that at all. If it is, you have to line up that uh, tank again, or you will get extra air in, and it'll flood, and it'll blah, it'll just go all wrong. So be very careful when you're setting it up. It's all 316 stainless steel, adjustable uh, 510 connection on it there with that little nut at the bottom. Uh, Price-wise, I think it's fairly priced for what you're getting. Uh, a high-quality atomizer, uh, finishing 316 stainless steel. I really like the look of it. I think it looks beautiful in most things. Uh, well, most things that I've put it on, it looks really nice. And the vape quality is pretty awesome. Uh, it's the flavour. It's the flavour that makes this. For me, it's the flavour. Don't get me wrong, it's not bringing anything new and exciting or bells and whistles. It's just what I would call a really good Genesis atomizer. And, do you know, I've been going on such a, a silica cotton kick for the past few months. It, it's nice to get my hands on a, a good Jenny again and just put it through its paces. Thank you to the guys at Liberty Flights for sending this on. I do believe it's going to be the 25th of July when is the official launch date for this. But you can buy it just now at uh, £117.99. Uh, remember, you've got the three different types. The dual coil one, which holds 4ml of juice and you have the loose cap and you have the standard draw cap and that's it from me uh, with the uh, garage of creations h atty guys thanks for watching and we'll catch up soon cheers now bye